The NFL's Jermaine Cunningham has been charged with violating New Jersey's revenge porn law. The measure makes it illegal to disclose intimate photos or videos of another person without their consent. Cunningham is scheduled to appear in court tomorrow. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman joins us to break down the case. And what does it mean for the, uh, for the national effort to punish revenge porn offenders? Now, hi, Ricky. I'd never even heard of this. <laughs> Good morning. I, know, I want to get Good started. Morning. I'd never even heard of this phrase, revenge porn. Well, what revenge exactly porn has really become a new phrase, and it's really important. New Jersey, where Cunningham is being prosecuted, has one of the oldest laws. It dates back to 2003. There are now 17 states that have laws. There are 10 more that are looking at it, and there's good reason for it. As I often say, law needs to catch up with technology, mm -hmm. and with technology, what we have by virtue of cell phones, what we have by virtue of computers and tablets, is the ability to take or receive um, a nude photo that is sexually explicit. It gets posted without the victim's consent, and then it is done with malice. Mm. So what happens is you have a domestic dispute, you get, are the jilted lover, it's usually women are the victims, but men could also be the victims. And what we don't think about in these cases, as people say, oh, she had that photo in her phone. Mm -hmm. oh, she shouldn't have taken that photo. The truth is, it's what we used to say about sexual assault. It's this whole thing about blaming the victim. Mm -hmm. This so could ruin someone's life. Mm -hmm. What kind so of punishment might he face? Yeah. Well, when you're looking at all of his charges, we have this revenge porn, which is really an invasion of privacy, third degree in New Jersey. We also have criminal mischief, that is, he destroyed her clothes in the third degree. And by the way, there was also a gun that was confiscated in his car. For the invasion of privacy or revenge porn law, it could be a punishment up to three to five years. This is mm -hmm. not an insignificant offense. He is the most well-known in a celebrity status of the revenge porn offenders to date. I think it's important. I think we need to look at this. I think that we cannot condone this kind of conduct because you might not be able to get a job later on. Mm -hmm. Your children might see such a photo. Once it goes, he says it goes to family and friends or the government says, how do we know what the family and friends do with it? How do you ever get it back? So this is the thing. So if I took a picture of Charlie, say, as long as I got his permission, it would be okay. Yes, of course, as long as you got his permission, not <laughs> only to take malicious. the photo, but malicious. to post <laughs> the photo. I would malicious. think that, uh, Charlie, but, I'm going to get you right out of this. But you're not like that. No, you I'm would not. never do anything with I the pictures. I would have Those no pictures malice against Charlie. Charlie. But How they, common is a conviction? The convictions are now starting oh. to get more common. <laughs> what you glad have you're is, here? I, I, for, I know, Charlie, this has done you in for the morning. But the reality of the situation is... It, I it's, think it's, it's serious. serious. Yeah, it is. Serious. And, and it is a that serious it, thing. when you get to convictions, what we're seeing now when the feds have gone forward in these pigeonholes is that more and more people who share <coughs> or yeah. post, yeah. but also go to those websites, shut those websites down. Or so I'm I'm say, an important warning. Yeah, yeah. Ricky Kleeman, thank you so much.